Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with David R. What's up, David? Yeah. All right, so I wanted to do an early cast before I go to work. Um, I wanted to talk about the Avengers uh, leaked promo art uh, for Avengers 4. So okay. I want to share that with you guys. Cool. Which, again, everybody knows that... You know, if you've seen the movie, nothing's going to stay permanent. Did you see Avengers Infinity War? Um, I saw Deadpool 2. All right. Well, anyway, I'm not going to spoil too much of Avengers Infinity War, but we got a sad ending for Avengers Infinity War, and this is a very hopeful poster for four as right. this, the team goes against the, uh, Thanos. So we got the Hulk suited up in some type of gear. Um, we got... Captain America, that's clean shaven, thank God. We have Hawkeye, we have War Machine, nice. Ant Man, Rocket, Rocket Raccoon, uh, oh, Nebula, oh. Thor, Captain Marvel, and Iron Man. So, <clears throat> and we also got this promo art for Thanos with some type of gun, I believe, or sword or something. I don't know. Nice. So, this is looking pretty cool. Um, we all know that the Avengers Infinity War is not a one movie, it's a two movie deal. Yeah. For whatever reason, they don't want to call it two parts. I don't understand. But anyway, it is uh, going to be concluded in the fi in Avengers 4. Right. And then we'll probably still have Avengers movie after that. Uh, but we do expect there to be a major death uh, in the next movie. Now, are you going to see uh, Avengers uh, Infinity War? Do you want to? Or it's not your thing? Yeah, I do. Okay. I know I've been busy. I've been working. I, I haven't been able to see Deadpool 2 or Solo, which I really want to see. Um, so I'm going to tr try to get to see that this weekend if I can. Right. Actually, I'm working on the weekend. I'm going to try to see if I can get to see that next Monday or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to review that on here when I do get to see them. But I know Solo no. isn't doing too well. Uh, no, not, not at all. Theaters. Yeah. Um, which, you know what? I Some people think I'm going to love it and some people think I'm going to hate it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, we'll see. I don't know, you know, if it's going to do something that's going to, you know, bash Empire Strikes Back, which is like my favorite movie, or the original, you know, or the trilogy, New Hope, right. Empire Jedi, then I'm going to be pretty pissed. But we'll see. I'll see how this goes. I am going to see Solo. Yeah. Uh, what have you been up to, my friend? Um, let's see. What have I been doing? I've been um, doing it, working on a Doctor Who comic book. Oh, cool. Very yeah. nice. I know we're going to be doing the Real Who Beans cast uh, at some point in time. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow because I have been sick and I've been trying to get over this cough now. And, and right now I'm stable, so I'm, I'm doing the cast with you. Um, so hopefully, if I feel better, we'll do a Real Who Beans cast tonight. I do also want to screen share a poster for Jurassic uh, World uh, 2 Fallen Kingdom. Um, so then we got this here. This is a cool poster that they have. Um, and I, I really, you know what? I hope that this movie's good. I do want to see it. I'm a fan of the other Jurassic uh, Parks and Jurassic World. So I think it would do great. Now, do you think um, people get tired of sequels? Yeah, some people probably. Yeah? I mean, what do we, how do you feel about sequels? I mean, if they're done right, they can be very good. I mean, look at Empire Strikes Back. Isn't a good example? Wrath of Khan, Star Trek. Yes, we've had the anniversary yesterday, so that was, that was my favorite Star Trek. Love that one. Love Spider-Man 2. With Doc Ock, yeah. Yeah. So, Superman 2, I mean, you know, there had been stuff in history that the sequel was better yeah. than the original, you know. That was good, too. And then, um, what aliens. else? Aliens. Yeah. I love Aliens. Uh, Terminator 2. Dark Knight, right? Yeah. Dark Knight, Heath Ledger, yeah. So, definitely. So, uh, we have, box office-wise, we said it yesterday, so I'm not going to go rehash that. Okay. Um, I'm happy that Bill and Ted are starting yeah. to film in January. Yeah. Bill, Bill and Ted 3. We talked about that the other night. Yeah. We also talked about Legally Blonde 3, for those fans of that. Uh, it's not. coming out. Yeah, that's coming out. Uh, we know that the Avengers, uh, Avengers 4 reshoots are going to take place in the summer. Okay. And that Spider-Man Homecoming 2 should be filmed, like done filming 
and wrapped in December. Um, uh, and just a uh, little other tidbits, we're getting a trailer. We got a trailer today for Bumblebee, nice. which it looked great. I bet it's going to look really good. Uh, did you see the trailer yet? No, I have to. I wanna I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna send it to you. I think it was fantastic. I can't freaking wait. I really think Bumblebee's gonna do very, very well. Awesome. I, uh, we got a trailer coming for Halloween on Friday, I believe. So I'm looking forward to that. Ben Affleck. Uh, the rumor is now that he wants to stay as Batman. And my only thing is, if he's gonna be Batman, then give him some damn movies instead of just him chilling in the background. Yeah. Put him in a Batman movie or two or three, and let's go. I mean, I think right. the problem is they're too quick to make all these other movies, and they're not focusing on the main brand, which is a Superman movie, a Wonder Woman movie, a Batman movie. they got to yeah. stop with the Harley Quinn movie, Harley Quinn 2, Harley Quinn 3, Suicide Squad 2, Nightwing, Deadshot. Like, they're making every type of movie that's connected to that character – but yeah. they're not making the character movie like a, the Batman. It's supposed to be the next movie. It's called the Batman. So now yeah. we're hearing that um, the the role may be the main villain may be the Penguin in okay. the Batman, um, which it's a toss up between um, some actors right now. So right. I'm not gonna. We, we had I think Josh Gad that really wanted the role. But now yeah. someone had stuck their their name in the in the, the pot, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and we're, I think it's um, let me just make sure I get the article right because I don't want to. Let's see. Well, Gad's got the build for the penguin. I'll admit that. Yeah. I think it's let's see, Nick Frost. Okay. Cool. I believe wants to be the penguin. I could kind of see that. I could so, be. I mean, I could see that too. I, I yeah. might see that better than, you know, I think he should be the penguin. Yeah, probably better than Gad even. Yeah, I, I not against Gad. I just think Nick Force would blow out of the park, I think. Yeah. You know? So against, you know, and that would be great if he's, you know, if it's Ben Affleck and then you could do a series of movies. They don't have to be, they could be prequels yeah and they could show him fighting his villains. You know, it doesn't have to be the joke of the joke of the joke all the time. Yeah. Could be different Batman, a villain. And they should go to the old motto, one villain per movie. Yes. I always liked it like that. When it was one villain. Now, when it was Spider Man 2, I liked it because, you know, we had, you know, Harry in the background. It was cool. Right. But when they did three, I didn't like, you know, yeah. all that. So, three was the best, yeah. There was too many stuff, too much stuff going on. And, yeah. and you lose focus. So, always, for me, it always has to concentrate on one villain. And then, yeah. and it should be a thing where if you want to keep having multiple villains, then make multiple movies. Do some type of plan. Like yeah. Lord of the Rings or something, but think outside the box. Like do it a plan like Lord of the Rings, but with Spider Man movies, where you film them yeah. back to back to back, and you yeah. can pot, you can make like three friggin' Spider Man movies yeah. in a span of a year, and so, then release them over the next three years. Like that would be great. That would be you great. know, and you're done. You're done filming in a year, and you'd be, and then next maybe from they should really get. I like Tom Holland as yeah, Spider Man, but. Like than Garfield, yeah. See, I like him, but I don't like I like the actor, and I think he's perfect for Spider Man. But I don't Ooh. like the way they write Spider Man in Homecoming because they're right. making it that it's like Iron Man Part Like Four, and and the yeah. thing is like Spider Man movies can't continue to keep talking about Iron Man. It has to be right. him in New York. And that, yeah. they want to do all these fancy things. He wants to travel the world. He wants, this is ridiculous. You need to That's establish him first in New York, going to school, graduating, work for the Daily Bugle, all that stuff. If you if you basically build up yeah. the story, then you yeah. can do Venom and all that stuff. But they're throwing everything too fast. Yeah, like the whole 
Venom thing is too soon and too ridiculous. Black yeah. Cat is too soon. Silver Sable's too soon. Spider-Man meets them later on. I mean, it's like, you can't throw them in there now. Even Spider-Woman, she shouldn't appear either. No. But Mysterio, I'm so happy about, because we haven't seen Mysterio in a movie. No, never. That would be good. So we're going to get, but the only thing is we're going to get Mysterio, the Vulture, the Scorpion, and the spider Slayers. Four villains in the wow. next Spider-Man movie, which uh, means we're going to get close to the Sinister Six, which would be in the third movie, which there we go. at the end of the second movie, we're supposed to see the one that hired Ooh. Mysterio, which would probably either be Norman Osborn, who would be the Green Goblin, or it could be Doc Ock, Otto Octavius, which... We'll have to find out. But it'd be nice if it was the Hobgoblin. You know what? You got to have the Green Goblin before you have the Hobgoblin because the whole thing with the Hobgoblin is he kind of stole the Goblin technology and made it his own. Yeah. And he altered it and changed the color and changed this and changed that. And then he was a really big threat because he had like a weapons van. He was Mm -hmm. like sort of like the Punisher, but like he was really tough to beat. He had skills of military sec, you know. So. They really made him great in the comics, you know, until yeah. they ruined it where they made it all too ridiculous, <laughs> you know. But yeah. I'm all for that. Uh, you know, Spider-Man needs to be about Spider-Man and not, you know, about Iron Man, really. Um, no, the Doctor Doom cool. movie is almost, uh, script is almost ready. Nice. Well, not nice, because I don't think they're going to do it right. And no. I, I, Marvel's going to put a stop to it if they buy, you know, I, yeah. I, I just want Doctor Doom in the MCU. I want him to be in a Fantastic Four movie in the MCU. And then later on, Doctor Doom could be in a big Avengers movie. Yeah. Who do you like character-wise? Do you like the Avengers, like Fantastic Four, like X-Men? Yeah, I like them. And um, I wish they would add new villains to Superman, though, because it's always Lex Luthor all the time. Well, Brian Michael Bendis just created, what, like 10, yeah. 12, like so many right. different villains. He just took over. He was from Marvel. Yeah. He, he just did, uh, I think, the new Action Comics 1000 or whatever, and he just gave him nice. tons of villains. So Good. they're going to probably use those villains in movies um, because be he bad. he was under the impression, like I feel, that Superman doesn't have enough villains. So that's right. what's going to happen there. Um, which, cool. you know what? You, Spider-Man had the most villains, I feel. And, uh, and I mean, that's my opinion, and I, I know people are going to criticize that because if you really write it down, it's like hundreds. So... And he's got great villains, Spider-Man. So you can make tons of movies for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, What uh, what do you watch on TV? Well, I watch Supergirl and The Flash sometimes. How did you like Supergirl yesterday? Oh, damn, I missed that one. I saw that one week before. I liked it. I'm not going to reveal spoilers because I don't want to ruin the experience for you. When you see it, let me know. We'll do a review on it. Cool. Sounds good. All right. All right, we're going to get out of here right now. Um... Because, again, I'm, I'm about to have a coughing fit because I feel like it's coming up. I don't want to, like, cough all over the place <coughs> on the cast. So, thank you, guys. Uh, David, hopefully I see you later. Cool, man. Yeah. All Thanks right, man. Good. good to see you, bro. Yeah, peace. And check out his impressions on his YouTube channel. Oh, thanks, give me, man. Yeah, give me the link, okay? I'll put it on yeah. the video. Thanks, bro. Take care. Bye for now.